What's up gamers? Today we are going to be doing an unboxing video of the Just Geek Kazuma Kiryu PVC 10.5 inch numbskull figure. This was a pre-order item back in August. It just arrived on my doorstep a couple days ago, so I'm going to be unboxing it for you. I know there was a lot of controversy regarding this figure when it first dropped because people felt that Kiryu's face didn't look quite right and they were saying that it was really ugly. So I have bought it, I'm going to show it off and by the end of the video, we'll be able to decide if this is a figure you wanna have on front and center on your shelf or if this is something that maybe you need to put towards the back or pass completely because it is still available for purchase on Just Geek and this is not a sponsored video. I will include the link to the listing if you are interested in purchasing um, in the description so you can check that out. Before I get to actually unboxing it, just to give you some details about the figure, Sega licensed product, um, RGG Studios and Sega worked with Numskull to have this PVC figure put out. Um, so that's really cool. Um, when it was first available for pre-order, uh, it was in US dollars, it was around $90. Um, Just Geek is a UK company. I've never ordered from them before. So this was a whole new experience. I highly recommend them. They were very good to work with. Um, when I finally got everything said and done, the figure was about 120 US dollars, so not too bad. I think the price actually has gone up on the website though, since I did check last. Um, so if it did, it's not much, but just something to think about. I think the price did go up. All right, so let's get into looking at this figure and seeing if uh, it's worth your money or not. <laughs> I did already open the box, but I haven't actually looked at the figure. So this is gonna be a whole blind run for me and for you. So let's get in. All right, so the packaging is gorgeous. Um, I'm really impressed already with the packaging. As you can see, some really nice pictures of Kiryu on the packaging, a really nice black finish. We've got the Dragon of Dojima tattoo on the top. I can't see how his face looks through the, the plastic, so we are definitely, we're already gonna going to get in there and look, but we really gotta get in there because we don't know how he looks, all right? So we gotta see this. And I'm gonna try to be as delicate as possible because I'm a total nerd and I keep the boxes for this kind of stuff. When the boxes are really nice, I keep them. Um, I'm not like a super collector that doesn't believe in taking stuff out of the box, but I do like to keep the boxes nice at least um, and put them into storage. All right. Well, I'm impressed so far, but I don't know. I'm holding my breath for the face. Extra tape. All right. Oh, we got some extra tape here. It's very well packaged, which is good. Um, the box didn't come beat up, which was nice. It was a uh, Royal Mail, and once they actually shipped it, it was supposed to be released in November. Um, there was a hold up on getting it out. Once it finally came, or once they finally shipped it, it came right away, and it wasn't all beat up, which I appreciated. Um, you never know what's going to happen, at least from our. United States Postal Service point of view, you don't know how bad it's gonna actually be. So, all right. Now we can finally get in here. All right. I mean, kind of see what people were saying a little bit. He's not, he's not exactly like Kazuma Kiryu. I mean, I don't know how well you can see that. He's not exactly like Kazuma Kiryu. I would say that he's not like dog butt face, like some people were making him out to be. I think he looks a lot better than that. Um, I would say overall though, like the quality of the figure is so good that for the $120 US dollars that I paid for it, I'm super impressed with it. The detail on his suit and the bicycle, the base, the cone, I mean, it's all super good quality. And like I said, I mean, his face is not it's not the worst thing I've seen. I've seen some action figures and some statues that you just got to wonder, like, what were they doing? 
This is not one of those things. I think it's subjective though. I think that if you're someone who's really into the accuracy um, in the figure's face, you might be disappointed. It's not a perfect rendition of Kiryu by any means. I, I definitely don't think it's the worst thing I've seen. To compare, I do have the Asmus Toys Kazuma Kiryu figure here. Um, his face, I think, is pretty good. So this is what his face looks like in comparison. Um, I would say there's definitely a difference there. But again, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think, honestly, if you're a really big collector and it's something that you're really into and you get all of the Yakuza stuff when you can in the States, it can be very hard in the States to get uh, Yakuza merch. If you can get something like this and you're a super fan, I would I would say go for it. I'm not disappointed. I don't regret my 120 bucks. Um, the paint job is great. That's something that I think on a lot of figures, they really, you'll see it very sloppy. This is not a sloppy figure by any means. So I don't know. I'm going to put it on my shelf. I'm going to display it. I don't think it's put in the back. I don't regret, but you can make up your mind after seeing the figure, if you think it's something that you would want to spend money on or if you want to pass. But yeah, so this is the Just Geek Cosmic Kiryu 10 and a half inch figure. Later gamers.